So, over this past year, I've had the opportunity to go full-time as a YouTuber. As you can see, I've pretty much just made more videos, been more active, and just been around more. With that, I feel like, hey, I'll make a video today going over how to become a YouTuber in 2021. It's not like the theory in how to become a YouTuber is all that difficult, right? We have a lot of people out there, a lot of channels dedicated to helping people become YouTubers, and the idea is fairly simple. The hard part is actually executing it well enough to be able to go full time and putting enough time into it. Before I get started, I just want to get it out of the way that the thing about being a full-time YouTuber and part-time YouTuber is you need to just make sure you always have your finances and life and everything in order because it's not worth going broke trying to be a full-time YouTuber. I took the path of going to college, having a job, and always doing YouTube as a hobby, and then when I started to want to try to make it a job, I essentially just slept a lot less, made a lot more videos, and tried to make things people liked. So with that out of the way, let's go over some tips and tricks, etc, etc, if you want to become a YouTuber in 2021. So, step one shouldn't really be too surprising, it should be kind of one of the obvious ones. Straight up, make videos and decide your niche. So, deciding your niche is essentially, what type of videos do you want to make? YouTube generally doesn't help you out if you try to make the widest range of videos, purely because you won't really get an audience, especially if, you know, A, your videos aren't that great, and B, you don't have a pre-existing subscriber base. Not saying every new YouTuber's videos are not the best, but let's be real here. If you're starting out at something, generally you haven't built up the skill set yet to be good at it, therefore it'll probably take you some time to get very good at making YouTube videos, but that's why you need to try to decide your niche early on. My niche, quite simply, is video games, and then more so, mainly Warframe, right? I mainly became a YouTuber off playing Warframe full-time, making guides, making videos, making comedic, satirical meme videos, and just trying to have fun with it, right? But the idea is, you need to niche down, find out what you like, what you want to make videos on, because you don't want to choose something you hate, because you're going to have to spend so much time on it, that, yeah, you just need to make sure you find and want to do something that you actually enjoy. I like video games, I like Warframe, and I like making guides and meme-ish videos, so, hey. Looks like I'm doing okay, I seemingly have succeeded this time, so we're good there. That is pretty much step one, right? Just start getting videos out there. A lot of people try to overthink their first video, don't even bother. I still don't think I'm anyone important, like, just make videos, right? Who cares? People like them, people hate them, try to make videos. Step two is there's a bunch of YouTube video, YouTube channel type manager tools out there. The one I personally use is TubeBuddy. I know there's other ones out there, I think like vidIQ and things like that. They are quite simply just to make YouTubing a little easier and just try to streamline the process. So if you want to use my affiliate link for TubeBuddy, go ahead, I'll throw it down there in the description. But quite simply, I use a third party tool called TubeBuddy. Browser extension and I believe like a mobile app maybe. All I mainly use it for is keyword searching, keyword SEO tagging, and things along the lines of that, right? I don't really have like the expensive membership or anything, no, no, no. I just make sure to buy the like tier one standard membership just so that I can make keyword searching, tagging, and really just SEO a lot better and easier. Of course, it's up to you to fully utilize and search out all the tools and know how to use them and get good with them, but I am by no means an expert in any YouTube manager tool. I mainly just use it for those simple aspects of finding keywords, finding tags, and sometimes even, I guess, making straight up video titles. So do what you will with that, use it if you need. I would definitely look around for one though if you don't end up liking TubeBuddy or like vidIQ or any of the other ones because I find it very convenient having a YouTube manager tool 
and it just kind of cuts down on some useless like managerial type time so yeah i find it useful okay now we're gonna talk about the actual making of videos i'm just gonna talk about like tips what you can do what you can try to do better things that'll probably help you make videos but Obviously, it's up to you to transform this and put it into your own niche. There's a lot of advice and guides, and there's a lot of channels out there that are dedicated to just general advice on how to become a YouTuber, so you can always search those ones out as well. I myself mainly followed Devin Nash and I think Roberto Blake, just because, you know, entertaining and helpful advice, so feels good, man. So. Number three, I wanna just say, just straight up practice making videos, okay? Keep this in mind, I would always make sure you have your audio quality over video quality. If your video sounds terrible, nobody's going to wanna watch it. So it's easier to, for people to, to listen to a higher quality video and to be okay with watching something at even like 240p, 480p, 720p, right? over the audio sounding like absolute garbage, you know? So I would say make sure the audio quality is good. You need your video quality to be good, obviously, but if they can't hear or listen to your video, your video loses all its merit, right? So audio, hella important over video, but you know, don't slack on either or. And then just making of the videos, make sure to, you know, have your description set up, do tagging for the video, make sure to do a good thumbnail, and make sure to do a good title. I would say the most important things are essentially title, thumbnail, not necessarily in those orders. I would say they're equally important, but those are essentially just like two of the biggest things. Because A, your title is your headline for your video, you know, what it's about, and B, your thumbnail is what catches everyone's eye on YouTube, so it needs to be flashy, and people want to click it, so do what you need to do there, it always depends on your niche. I would always say you can do the thing where you look at other channels that you admire channels you look up to, channels you like, not even needing to be related to your niche. It can be any niche and you can find inspiration and ideas on how to do titles and thumbnails from their videos, right? That's what I've always done. I've always looked at videos of other YouTubers that I always watch and just, you know, tried to get creativity and inspiration from that. Not even Warframe YouTubers because like, I try not to watch too many Warframe YouTubers purely because I think it'll influence how I make my videos and I like to just do whatever I want to do and make my memes and whatnot and have fun with guides, so I try not to do that, but I do watch other gaming YouTubers and things like that, so think about that. My fourth tip is kind of weird, but it's clickbait your video, but deliver on the clickbait, right? So a lot of people go very specific with clickbait and they just don't deliver on it at all, right? So if you're gonna say, let's say the world's fastest speedrun for Mario 64, it, it actually has to be like the world's fastest speedrun, right? So you wanna clickbait something that's achievable, right? So if you're, let's say, making a guide on farming, let's just say Roombas, you know, those cute little space vacuum cleaners in your orbiter, you could just make the title something of how to farm Roombas fast in Warframe or really fast Roomba farm in Warframe, right? Like make it something catchy, make it something exciting, somewhat clickbait soundy, right? But not necessarily lying at all, right? So, and then deliver on that clickbait. Yeah, you wanna make a fast Roomba farming video? Well, if there's a way to farm Roombas for free in the game at the time, go over how to do that. And if there's a way to min-max that, yeah, talk about that, right? It's not like the idea or concept is too hard, it's just you have to deliver on it. I'm gonna mention that I've gotten a lot of DMs and things like that on people asking how to become a YouTuber and if I can help them become a YouTuber. I generally ignore most DMs that are asking for help because A, yeah, it's just not feasible for me to help people individually. And B, yeah, no, it's just impossible. I do not have time to help each individual and the tools and ideas and everything is already out there. It's just up to you to find it, search it out and figure out how to become a YouTuber. So I just thought I would make this video. So make sure, this is my fifth tip. I know, right? Pretty hype. 
make sure you actually provide value with each video. You need to make sure each video has a purpose, has a reason, and has a point, right? It could be different for each video. Guide videos, those generally have the purpose of helping people out, guiding them on how to do something. Meme videos, the purpose of those are to be funny, mess around, and make jokes essentially, right? And those are the biggest two types of videos that like I would say I make. Walkthrough videos, if you wanna count those, right? Those are so you have a one-to-one -one scale of usually how to do something. You go along with someone, you can see the mistakes they make, the errors they make, and how to generally do a mission, right? So try to make sure you provide value with every video and you know what type of value that video will provide. It's up to you to decide what you want to make, how you want to make it, and what value that'll provide. It's your channel, right? No one can truly tell you how to be the best you can be because, you know, you just kind of have to figure it out. I've been making videos all my life just as a hobby and for fun, and when I decided to go full-time and try to go hard on YouTube while I was still working, like, IT full-time, I essentially just slept a lot less and made a lot more videos and played games and recorded and wrote things down and just spent so much more time doing YouTube. So it's a sacrifice you may have to make, but you can definitely do it casually and be successful. I just couldn't take that as I was slowly going insane working full time because yeah, shenanigans were afoot. I would say my sixth tip is make sure your videos are searchable. You want to title videos in a way that human beings and actual people will search for videos. You know what's a really dog shit video title for new YouTubers? Minecraft Let's Play Episode 1 Building a House, right? Nobody's gonna search that up, nobody cares, none of that matters, right? You need to actually have searchable videos. You know what people search for? How to do this, how to do that. Oh, like hollow key farming, weapon farming, build guides. You need to find out what people search for within your niche. You know, survey high keywords, find out what people like, and you know, make your own variation and spin on that type of video. That's why I personally, again, don't like watching other Warframe YouTuber videos because a lot of ours are very similar in fashion. So a lot of people might end up, if they watch a lot of other YouTuber videos, just start like looking and copying things from them. So that's probably a way you can get ahead, like just copy big YouTubers one for one, but I wouldn't recommend that as that'll definitely piss everyone off. So at most take inspiration, but yeah, you know, do what you want to do, but I definitely wouldn't try to do it in the scummy way. My seventh tip is straight up advertising on social media. You should try to have all of the social medias, you should try to post as much as you can, you should try to get followers on everything, and just do everything you possibly can. Because no matter what, building up all of the social medias helps, it's nice to have multiple platforms in Sometimes one thing will blow up over another. Sometimes, hey, maybe your Instagram will just shoot through the roof over your Facebook, or maybe your Facebook over YouTube or something like that. So I've gotten in the habit of just cross-posting things on all of the social medias. YouTube's essentially my main one I focus on where, you know, I actually care. I put all my videos, put most of my time and effort, and then I throw up smaller videos on all my other social medias. I cross post to Facebook just in case. And then I just, you know, show my dog, just show off IRL real life stuff on all my other social medias. So yeah, do it how you will. I know a lot of people have different ways of going about social media. I'll just take it casually as I have more fun making videos and doing stuff on YouTube. So the final thing I wanna talk about is the different avenues of making content on YouTube. The final tip number eight is there are streams on YouTube, so you can live stream, right? You can straight up make videos and those are either under eight minute videos, over eight minute videos. If it's over eight minutes, you can put one or more ads in between it, or you can make shorts videos. Short videos are the ones that'll show up on mobile, have the mobile short shelf. So far, 
I've had fun making short videos. Those 100% really like don't make much revenue, but who cares, right? If you have the time, it's an under one minute video. If you're having fun with it, it's not really an issue. They seem to be good to mainly bring in subscribers and views on the mobile platform, right? As it is more of a mobile centered content creation stream. So do that what you will. If you wanna make shorts, Try to find something you want to make out of it. Like, there's always ideas out there. It's a wide world of content. You can probably think of something fun, interesting, or helpful, right? You have the community tab on YouTube. I mainly do that and use it to send out my videos, shoot polls, and sometimes just things I find interesting. Fun fact, all of these things can show up on people who are not subscribed to you, so... Anything helps. I believe I've gotten a ton of subs from the community tab before, gotten thousands, possibly tens of thousands of subs from my shorts and then, you know, streams and videos, obviously. And last but not least, stories on YouTube. Those are kind of the like 15 second channel reels that you can look at on mobile. You just click on it for the channel and usually I just post like video stuff, personal stuff, dog, like just casual stuff here and there, reminders to buy the free game on the Epic Game Store and use code Pupsker, things like that. Use that however you will. You can highly make content for that, like under 15 seconds high quality content, but I just mainly use it as an avenue to say hi and show how things are going and yeah, because you know, I'm only one man, I like just one manning my YouTube, so I mainly focus on videos and streams, and then everything else comes after that, right? So, yeah. Those are just some general tips I have on how to build a YouTube channel in 2021. I managed to go full-time, and I'm having more fun doing this than my old jobs, so, hey, I can't complain, but it's always important to note, success is never guaranteed, and the best way to guarantee success is putting the most effort in and, you know, just doing the best you possibly can. But, of course, you have to do that right, and sometimes it's hard to find out how to do that. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, I would appreciate it if you were to subscribe and check out some of my other content. Feel free to comment down below, and if you want to, check out any of my socials or any of my affiliate links in the description of the video. Thank you all for watching. Just wanted to make this small video because I started getting this question as I have now became a YouTube person man. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.